A new update just went live in Modern Warfare 2, the first major update since the launch of Season 1. We're going to go through all of the changes and what they added in this quick update video here. First up, let's go through November 22nd updates. We have a general here, improvements made to help better navigate camos, added controller bumper navigation to jump between categories, a big W there, added a toggle option to show and hide locked camos. Also pretty cool quality of life feature. And this one's pretty good as well, increased audio notification for when the jailer enters the gulag. Sometimes I'm dying to the jailer, honestly, I'll admit it, and I don't even know where he is. He's behind me, I didn't even realize. So maybe I gotta be a little smarter, more aware of my surroundings, but definitely a good change there, more of an audio notification when that happens. For attachments here, we have armor, piercing, ammunition, removed damage multiplier against armored enemies. And we have a bunch of very important bug fixes here. Of course, we've had problems with the base game, MW2's MP, DM. MZ, Warzone 2, so many crashes. I mean, let me know down below what you guys have been experiencing. Let's go through what they did change. We have fixed collision issues with various elements across the game that allow players to exploit peak, shoot through them, fix an issue with audio occlusion and directional audio. We have fixed an issue causing some unlocks in the gunsmith to not track weapon progression. This one is so huge. You don't want stuff to not track. Such a waste of time. Very annoying. So that's a big fix there. Fixed an issue causing overkill to allow players to equip the same weapon as both a primary and a secondary. Fixed an issue that was preventing the correct number of battle pass tokens from appearing on the battle pass menu that's pretty important fix an issue causing the season countdown timer on the battle pass menu to not indicate the correct amount of time remaining not a big deal there but and now it shows the correct time for when the season ends fixed various incorrect text in the in-game interface fixed various issues resulting in incorrect controller input while navigating menus i've experienced a lot of that as well honestly because i'm on pc but i also use a controller so it was mixing up a lot so that's good to see Fix an issue that caused players looking down to appear erratic to others. So that's interesting. I haven't really seen that, but good fix there. Fix an issue that prevented some players from launching the game due to GPU compatibility. Let me know uh, if you guys are on PC, if you guys have been experiencing that one. We have uh, fix an issue that was causing focus mode to crash the client while the display mode was set to windowed. Another PC fix there. Fix an issue on PlayStation that caused the PlayStation Store icon to remain stuck on screen after experiencing a network error. Fix an issue causing progression for the dragon in downtown calling card to not track. Fix an issue causing the incorrect operator icon to appear while navigating to select a custom skin for Cleo. Fix an issue causing players to get kicked back to the main menu when navigating to select the PDSW 528 Armory while customizing a loadout. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they fixed other stuff as well because I would get kicked back to the menu for doing not just that, for a ton of other stuff. Of course, the social thing they just fixed, so that is good to see, but I'm getting kicked back to the menu just for clicking random things in the interface. So hopefully they fixed all of those kicking back to the menu issues there, not just the PDW one. We have fixed an issue causing an incorrect progression requirement to appear in the prestige menu, fixed various audio related issues causing players to hear notifications at times when they shouldn't, fixed an issue causing platinum camo unlock requirements to display incorrectly after having unlocked it, fixed various issues causing the camera to shake while spectating another player, Fixed an issue causing operator model hands to appear invisible while ledge hanging. Fixed an issue causing the incorrect weapon to appear in the player showcase. Now for two specific MP fixes here. Fixed an issue that caused the spotter scope to continuously highlight enemy positions and addressed a dev error in private matches and will continue to improve stability. Now for Warzone 2 here, we have buy station inventory has been slightly adjusted, removed counter UAV, that's very interesting, and removed tactical camera, so I never really used that, but counter UAV removed from the buy station, totally, that's kind of, I don't know if, like, why, for what reason, I don't know, so let me know down below your opinions on that, and visual upgrade to contract activation phone in Bowery out, that's very true, sometimes I I'm looking for the contract phone on the ground, on a, on a shelf, wherever, I can't see it, like, it's so, so small, and it's so, like, I, I don't know, I hopefully they increase the size, and it's more visible there in the game, so we'll see how that is in Warzone 2 on the map. Some more bug fixes here for Warzone. Fix an issue preventing some players from hearing others via proximity chat. A good one there. Fix an issue preventing stickers earned via DMZ instructions from appearing on weapons. Fix an issue on PlayStation that caused players to not see Sony profile usernames. Fix an issue causing parachute deployment to crash the game. I mean, that's the, not, not the only thing crashing the game. Anything you do in Warzone 2 could potentially crash your game. I, I mean, I, I played for an hour. I crashed like three times in an hour. So... Hopefully, a lot of those other issues are fixed as well that cause crashing and freezing and all that stuff. 
and fixed the issue causing players to lose all control of mouse movement if interacting with a container with mixed backpack behavior. Okay, so for some BR changes here or fixes, fix an issue that caused players eliminated in the gulag to either spectate the enemy team. That literally happened to me. I was spec I was like, why am I on the enemy team here? Kind of weird. Or spectate from underneath the playable area. So glad they fixed that one. Fix an issue that caused players eliminated in the gulag to not appear in the buy station for squad members to buy back. A very annoying issue. Glad that's fixed. Fix an issue causing players to skip the down state and immediately perish despite having an assimilated squad member still alive. So many people were experiencing that. So, so bad. Uh, glad that's fixed there. Fix an issue preventing players from jumping out of the plane during infill. And then fix an issue causing the after action report from appearing correctly after match. My after action report never appeared, honestly. So that was always glitched for me. So glad that's fixed. For DMZ here, fix an issue that was causing players to get kicked out of the backpack interface if looting an eliminated player opponent that disconnected during the interaction. Fix an issue preventing players from equipping lethal and tactical equipment. I haven't experienced that, but interesting. Fix an issue that caused players to encounter the fail to connect to data centers error while extracting. Fix an issue that caused lobby wide microphone input during matchmaking. Fix an issue allowing players to keep armor plate carrier upgrades between matches despite having been eliminated. Fix an issue causing players to lose their backpack upgrade when extracting after having been revived. And then finally, fix an issue causing players to incorrectly extract their insured weapon as a contraband weapon. So I'm not gonna lie, DMZ has been the most stable game mode out of the bunch for me. I haven't really experienced any glitches or issues in DMZ, although I've been seeing people, you know, experience some issues and they're saying DMZ's broken and maybe it's an individual experience. I think Warzone 2, I mean, I like it, it's fun. I was playing yesterday, but I I've experienced so many glitches and crashes, the most out of the bunch. Uh, so for Warzone 2, hopefully that was really fixed there. But for DMZ, it's been running pretty stable for me. I haven't experienced any of these issues here. They're fixed, that's good, but it's been pretty good overall. But let me know down below, did IW fix all of the major things here uh, that you wanted them to fix in this game? Are you experiencing issues in MP, DMZ, Warzone 2, Spec Ops, maybe Campaign even that you know IW didn't address here? There's a lot of stuff we still need upgraded to add to the game, of course. The Warzone 2 changes removing counter UAV. I don't know why that's the case. Was it too overpowered? I don't really know. I mean, that's a weird one. So let me know down below your opinions on that. But that's it for this video. Again, I'll be sure to update you guys on the latest MW2 Warzone 2 DMZ news updates, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Shout out to YouTube channel members as always. I, I just reversed it, actually. I, I usually say that after. All right, um, I don't know what to do. Peace out, guys. Peace out.